Hi everyone, welcome to Smart Math Online Tutor. Through this video, we are going to look into LCM of algebraic expressions. To get started, let me recall how to find the LCM of numbers. Look at this example. Find the LCM of 12 and 18. So here what we do is, first we find the prime factors of 12 and the prime factors of 18. Then we write the prime factors as products and finally as powers of products of prime factors. Once when we write the powers of products of prime factors of 12, you get 12 is equal to 2 squared into 3, while 18 is equal to 2 to the power 1 into 3 squared. The next step is we find out the highest powers of each factor. Now here you have two factors, 2 and 3. The highest power of 2 is 2 squared and the highest power of 3 is 3 squared. So then the LCM is equal to the product of the two highest powers. 2 squared into 3 squared is equal to 4 into 9 and that is 36. So the LCM of 12 and 18 is 36. Now let us see how to find the LCM of algebraic terms. Just like before, when algebraic terms are given, we have to split the given terms into prime factors and algebraic terms. So here, 4a squared can be written as 2 squared into a squared, while 6ab can be written as 2 into 3 into a into b. Whereas 8b can be written as 2 to the power 3 into a. Just like before, here too, we spot the highest powers of each factor. When you come to the powers of 2, the highest power is 2 to the power 3. Powers of 3 has only 3 to the power 1. Powers of A has A squared and powers of B has B. So the product of all these four factors is the LCM of these three terms. So here we take the LCM as 2 to the power 3 into 3 into A squared into B. That is 24A squared B. The next section is to find out the LCM of algebraic expressions. Now look at this example. Here too, the first step is to factorize the given terms. Now here, 5a plus 10 can be written as 5 times a plus 10. 5 is taken out of a bracket. And in the next case, we can write it as 3 times a plus 2, where 3 is taken out of a bracket. Remember, after factorizing, you can double check your answer by removing the brackets and getting the same expression before. So here too now, what we do is we spot the highest powers of each type terms given. The highest power of 5 is 5 and the highest power of 3 is 3 and a plus 2 is the only power of that expression. So the LCM is 3 into 5 into a plus 2 that is 15 times a plus 2. Look at this example. Here it is 15a squared. The, this can be written as 3 into 5 into a squared. The next term is 20a plus 1. That is 2 squared into 5 into a plus 1. 15a plus 1 whole thing squared can be written as 3 into 5 into a plus 1 whole thing squared. Now here among the powers of 2, 2 to the power 2 is the highest power and among the powers of 3, it is only 3 there and 5 must be considered. Powers of a, when you consider the a squared is the highest power and when you take the powers of a plus 1, a plus 1 squared is the highest power. So the product of all these terms is the LCM. So that gives you the final answer as 60a squared times a plus 1 whole thing squared. So this is how you find out the LCM of a given set of algebraic expressions. We'll move into some more examples to understand this further. Look at this example. 5t minus 1 
and 1 minus t squared. Now here the terms are similar but they are interchanged t minus 1 and 1 minus t. Now when you get a question like this first of all you have to try it to make it to one type one order that is the t minus 1 must be converted to 1 minus t. So let us see how to do that. 5t minus 1 can be written as 5 times. I have taken a minus 1 out of a bracket and written 1 minus t. Now if you remove this bracket minus 1 into 1 is minus 1 and minus 1 into minus t is plus t. Then you get plus t minus 1. That is the initial expression you have. So here when you need to interchange the terms in an algebraic expression all what you have to do is to take a minus 1 out of a bracket. Now then we can write down the factors of 5 times t minus 1 as minus 1 into 5 into 1 minus t. And then the second expression cannot be further factorized. It can be written as it is 1 minus t squared. Now here when you take the highest powers of each factor, highest power of 5 is 5. Highest power of minus 1 is the same thing and the highest power of 1 minus t is 1 minus t squared. So the LCM is minus 1 times 5 into 1 minus t squared that is minus 5 times 1 minus t whole thing squared. So this is how you simplify the LCM when the terms are not in the same order. Let's move on to another example. The LCM of 4x times x minus 3 squared and 6 times x squared minus 9. 4x times x minus 3 squared can be written as 2 squared into x into x minus 3 whole thing squared. Then the next expression 6 can be factorized as 2 into 3 and x squared minus 9 is difference of 2 squares. So it can be written as x minus 3 into x plus 3. So here we have factorized the two algebraic expressions. Now we find out the highest powers. When you come to 2, the highest power of 2 is 2 squared. Then we have to take 3 because there is no other power of 3. Then x2 has no other powers. x minus 3 has x minus 3 to the power 2. So we have to select that as the highest power. And x plus 3 has no other power. So we have to consider that as well. Then LCM is the product of all these terms. That is 12x times x minus 3 whole thing squared times x plus 3. So this is how we find out the LCM of these types of expressions. And we move on to the next example, the final example I'm going to do with you all. x squared plus 2x plus 1 and 2 times x plus 1. Now in this case, first of all x squared plus 2x plus 1 must be factorized. You should understand that this is a quadratic equation and we have already learned how to solve quadratic equations. So if you solve this quadratic equation, the factors you get are x plus 1 into x plus 1. This can be written as x plus 1 whole thing squared. And then 2 times x plus 1 can be split into factors as 2 into x plus 1. This is a very simple case. Once when you spot out the highest powers of the factors, the highest power of 2 is 2 and the highest power of x plus 1 is x plus 1 to the power 2. So therefore the LCM is 2 times x plus 1 to the power 2. And I hope I have made myself clear about finding the LCM of algebraic expressions. See you with another smart math clip. Until then, goodbye.